All right, I was just thinking this shit all day today. Um, this is the reality of it. When you're on semen retention for a year, six weeks, seven months, it's real. When you get this female attraction, it is real. You, not to be arrogant, cocky, or over the top, but you really have your choice. In all honesty, like I was just sitting at this cafe in, in, in the city, pretty much whether they have a boyfriend, husband, single, alone, whatever it is, every single person in there, you have options. You have the ability to, they're going to look at you. They're going to be attracted to you. You're going to really, really feel it. And some will be blatant, some will be covert, some will stare, some won't stare, some will give you the looks, but you'll feel it and you'll know. You will just know. So with that being said, how do you deal with this? You know, like what what are you supposed to do with it? You know, it's new, it's fun, the attention's cool. Do you jump on every opportunity? Do you judge the people or the women, you know, because they have a husband, a boyfriend right next to them and they're trying to look at you? That's a big question that I had to deal with. And like, I really did not know what to do with any of that or what it meant or what it was. And like, should I take action? Should I not take action? So a lot of the time I wouldn't take any action. I would just kind of know in my heart and know that I feel it but I wouldn't do anything. And sometimes I would shy away from making the eye contact with them. And I just realized why, and I'm being brutally honest here, I was terrified to have to speak to them or take action or say no or do something. I was just okay with receiving the validation, the ego boost, the attention and the dopamine hit that it gave me you know essentially this is what edging is um and i wasn't looking for it per se but i got it and i don't know if you would call that edging or not but i i was able to i received it i felt it and just played around with it but then when you do that it makes it extremely awkward for anything else to happen. If you don't smile, acknowledge it, and move along. You know, if you ignore it, act like it's not happening, pretend it's not there. My truth was I was scared. You know, I knew it was there. It was all happening. But my truth is I was scared to take action because I might be successful. And then I might end up with some type of relationship, some type of interaction, whatever it might be. But I was, you know, honestly, I was scared of that, you know, because I'm like, oh, yeah, I was scared of it. So that's mine. But what I've realized and done in the past or I've done here and there, but not all the time, you know, I do fall victim to this. And this is why um, what I normally would do and what you should do, not should do, but what is effective and beneficial to the situation to make everyone at ease and really be authentic. That's the whole goal for me is authenticity and radical honesty is if you're feeling that, which I was, I got the attention from three different girls, actually like six, maybe more. I don't even remember, but it, it, it was a lot. Um, pretty much every person in there gave me the look and I caught the look. And the people I would smile back at were the ones that I wanted nothing to do with. And I knew that I smiled back at them and would even engage with them because I didn't have this underlying tone of maybe I want something from them. Maybe something could happen. This was genuine. I knew nothing could happen because, you know, I wasn't attracted to them. They were that much older. But then with the ones that I was attracted to that I felt like, all right you know, there's some type of attraction here, I would shy away from the eye contact. And then I would beat myself up about not giving the eye contact. What am I so scared of? 
they obviously like you, they're staring at you, but now I'm just making it awkward and I'm also lying to myself. I'm thoroughly lying to myself. And on the retention, you're gonna get all that. And my eye contact is strong, but then when it came down to the truth and the situation, and this is me being honest, I didn't make the eye contact. I didn't smile. I didn't do anything. I just would pretend like I didn't see it and bask in it and just feel the energy and feel the looks and just eat it up instead of just smiling, saying hi, acknowledge it and keep moving. Like I don't have to say hi, smile and and sit there and engage with them, talk to them. I don't have to do anything. I can just smile, engage, appreciate it and just smile back and feel the attraction to them and just accept it for what it is and just be cool. And if they choose to engage or I choose to engage, I can, but that's just being honest and how to handle the eye contact and the attraction that comes your way, because that's something I struggled with, Um, you know, in accepting what came your way. And then you have the ability to say no, you know, to be authentic and honest and keep your head up and really always be vulnerable and show who you are. You have to make that eye contact. You have to give them the smile and that's it. You don't have to like scream and yell, cheer it on or linger in their eyes or love gaze or anything weird. You can just in passing, feel the energy, give them the gaze, make the eye contact, Give the smile and nod and keep it simple and move along. And then if they continue, you have the option to say something nice. There's no lines. There's no pickup lines here at this point. It's just purely authentic. And all you have to do if you choose after that is just say hi. They'll do the rest. Just say hi. That's it. And then let it flow from there and just just let it keep coming to you you know they say the man has to take action reach out do all these things chase there's no rules to this you know you're going to be like a magnet at this point you're not going to have to chase anything you're going to have to learn how to say no is the real truth to this you're going to that's the hard part and you're going to have to be really authentic in the stuff that comes to you and you're going to be able to discern what's for you and what's not and in the beginning you might eat up the opportunities, you know, and say yes to everything. But then you'll learn how to stand up and just say no, appreciate it, feel it, validate them, love them. You're not holding anything back. You don't have to withhold attention, withhold, you know, anything. You can just be authentic in your feeling in that moment. Give that smile, be honest and and move along. There's nothing more that needs to be done, you know. You don't have to be in that fearful survival state. They don't want anything from you. Maybe they do, maybe they don't, but you'll get it. And you'll you'll be able to be truthful to yourself. So something that happens when, like for instance, just now that I lied to myself and blew an opportunity per se, you know, there'll be plenty more and I know that. But when the opportunity is missed, that's when the problem happens. Cause now I'm gonna shame myself I'm going to feel like I abandoned myself. I wasn't authentic to what was going on inside of me. Um, So now for me to cope with that, some people turn to drugs and alcohol. I've been turning to food and sugar. And the more authentic I've been and honest in my connections and relationships and doing this semen retention and, and all this stuff, the more honest I've been, the less cravings for food I've had. And it's wild. So like, I believe that if I'm not authentic and I miss these opportunities or I'm I'm lying to myself, internally, I'll overfeed myself to destroy the inner child in me, to harm it, to suppress the fear. I don't even know what that really means, you know, but anytime I abandon myself and I am not authentic and I lie, I turn to food and at my heaviest I was probably lying to myself the most and not standing up for myself whether it was with women 
or just friends and just saying no to activities I just didn't want to do and being authentic and, and, and lying and engaging in conversations I didn't really care for. So this has given me a bit of a foundation to work off of and you know it's really brought stuff that was suppressed up so now I'm able to deal with it or recognize it or see it and it's getting easier and today I had the relapse I guess or the inauthenticity and it was okay I didn't run to the food I don't feel hungry but I've been able to recognize it right now that's why I made the video and I wrote down like I journaled and wrote down kind of like a guide that I've been doing but with some structure to it to help other people to really really knock this thing out and be honest with you know what your intentions are and and some really good ideas actually so I'll make a bunch more videos but this this was real today and it was sad you know because I've done the opposite but today that's what it was today you know I was focused on just being out writing taking the date to myself and didn't want to engage with anybody and missed quite a bit of opportunities for just a smile and that's what I'm getting at it wasn't to talk to them it was just for a smile but then with that smile I was in one situation I was fearful of the rejection you know where the the look didn't come back or I'd be caught lingering and it is what it is you know like you know you know inside and they're playing the game too and they've got to play hard to get or whatever they're female maybe they're scared too you know they put themselves out there and maybe they feel rejected so it's a two-way street there's no manual or code book you know to this it's just about being authentic and that's what it really comes down to so the more real i can be the other person can be just as real so if i smile they have the opportunity to be real so I'm giving, the truth will set you free. The truth is giving that freedom in the authenticity from the, the smile. But the smile has no undertone of lust or agenda. And that's what the, the real lesson here for me in the semen retention is. And I just figured that out as I'm saying it. Because in the past, there was an agenda behind my smile. You know, I'm smiling to get the phone or I'm smiling to to wanting something from this woman, lustfully, campaign, whatever. But now my smile, if it comes, has nothing behind it. You know, just authenticity that I'm appreciating and noticing this other person. And that leaves everything open to communication, to anything can happen after that, you know, authentic, uh, authentically. You know what I mean? They can be honest as possible. I can be as real as possible because there's no hidden lustful agenda and it's safe for everybody and then something can come of that whether it's friendship connection just a hello a compliment whatever it might be but that's how to keep moving and then just keep leveling up through the experience and then you'll know which ones to go further with and which ones to you know end real quick and just accept it for what it was yeah have fun with that